So, uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Prayer. Let's make a start um, on Thursday, 29th of October, and we remember James Hannington, Bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa and Martyr of Uganda, 1885. It's um, not that much to say about him. I mean, it's very sad that he was martyred but he was born in Sussex um, kind of felt called to go out to Bugunda which is what modern-day Uganda was then called with the Church Missionary Society and uh, fairly early on he got very ill nearly died of fever and dysentery um, but recovered from that um, and was kind of advised to stay in the coastlands. But Burgunda is, is a landlocked country in, in the internal area. And he, anyway, basically, he went back there in 1885, um, ignoring advice from all quarters and traveling the quickest route, which uh, was the most dangerous route, he gets apprehended. I think they think that he is a German and in trying to invade the country. Um, it's interesting, it says the Burgunders seemed unable to distinguish between different nationalities of white men. Anyway, um, he's party is detained by the local chief who asks the king what to do and and they execute them they spear them to death in 20, on the 29th of october 1885 so a very sad end to poor james hannington who was um apparently much loved and much respected in his time so we remember him today courageous man all right, let's start. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall, shall proclaim your praise. your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father and, and, the, Father and, and the Son and, the Son, and, 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 and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning now, now and shall, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we're going to read Psalm 143. Um, Leslie, do you want to do the even verses? Sure, yes. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. 
Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father, the Father and to the Son, Son and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was, it was in, the beginning, in the beginning, is now, now and shall be forever. Shall be forever. Amen. Amen. So, any thoughts about this psalm? Is asking for help from God to help support them. Yeah. Yeah, he's downcast, but knows where he needs to go for help. Yeah. Like that verse, let me hear of your loving kindness in mm. the morning. Mm. In you I put my trust. Mm. Mm. Okay, great, thank you. All right, we'll read um, our Old Testament passage. Um, still making our way through all these different kings. Uh, this is about Jehoiakim of Judah. Um, Sue Riley, do you want to read this for us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Jehoiakim was 25 years old when he began to reign. He reigned for 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Zebedah, daughter of Pediah of Rumah. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, just as all his ancestors had done. In the days King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came up, Jehoiakim became his servant for three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. The Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldeans, bands of the Arameans, bands of the Mogonites, and bands of the Ammonites. He sent them against Judah to destroy it according to the word of the Lord that he spoke by his servants, the prophets. Surely this came upon Judah at the command of the Lord to remove them out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh, for all that he had committed, and also for the innocent blood that he had shed. For he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, and the Lord was not willing to pardon. Now the rest of the deeds of Jehovah and all that he did are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? So Jehoiakim slept with his ancestors. Then his son Jehoiakim succeeded him. The king of Egypt did not come again out of his land, for the king of Babylon had taken over all that belonged to the king of Egypt from the Wadai, from the Wadai of Egypt to the river Euphrates. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he began to reign. He reigned for three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nebushtah, daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his father had done. At that time, the servants of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came up to Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came to the city while his servants were besieging it. King Jehoiakim of Judah gave himself up to the king of Babylon himself, his mother, his servants, his officers, and his palace officials. King of Babylon took him prisoner in the eighth year of his reign. He carried off all the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. He cut in pieces all the vessels of gold in the temple of the Lord, which King Solomon of Israel had made. All this as the Lord had proclaimed. He carried away all Jerusalem, all the officials, all the warriors, 10,000 captives, all the artisans and the smiths. No one remained except the poorest people of the land. He carried away Jehoiakim to Babylon. The king's mother, the king's wives, his officials and the elite of the land he took into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. The king of Babylon brought captive to Babylon all the men of power, 7,000 the artisans and the smiths, one thousand, all of them strong and fit for war. The king of Babylon made Mataniah, Jehoiakim's uncle, king in his place and changed his name to Zedekiah. Thank you. So, um, <coughs> we hear of Babylon taking over Jerusalem and taking the people into captivity. Yeah? Mm. One of whom we think was Daniel, yeah? 
for Daniel gets to eat in captivity mm -hmm. by the Babylonians. So this is what mm -hmm. this refers to. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this seem to be, you know, the consequence of Israel's praying <clears throat> from the path of the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts about this passage? A lot of destruction, that's for sure. A lot of destruction, yes. Destruction, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Seems a bit unnecessary to cut in pieces all the vessels of gold in the temple. Yeah. Unless mm. it was to make it easier to carry. Depends how big they were. Yeah. That's I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Who would have written this account, Martin? Do you know? No, uh, but it would have been written down sometime during the exile in Babylon. Yeah, so it would have just been information that had been gathered together and then recorded here. The annals. Yeah. The annals we haven't got. <laughs> That's true, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think that. When they're taken into exile and lose Jerusalem and the temple, they start to feel they've got to write stuff down. Mm. Mm. Okay. The temple, they've no longer got the holy site of Jerusalem. Yeah. So what is going to sustain them in their faith? And they need to write it down. So you get a lot mm. of like it being doc their faith being documented. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Right. Zedekiah remains in Jerusalem, does the he? Kind of puppet king, yeah, again, a vassal mm -hmm. king, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's read 1 to 4. Um, Elizabeth, do you want to read that? Yes. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in later times, some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with hot iron. They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by, their, by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected provided it is, it is received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of, Jesus, of Christ Jesus, nourished on the words of the faith and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of value, godliness is valuable in every way holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance, for to this end we toil and struggle because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the saviour of all people, especially of those who believe. These are the things you must insist on and teach. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which will, was given to you through prophecy, with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Put these things into practice, devote yourself to them, so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this you will save both yourself and your hearers. Thank you. So yes, so this letter to a leader of the early church, um,
um, encouraging this church leader to pay attention to his own life as well as to what he says. Mm -hmm. um, train yourself in godliness. There is kind of sense, of, you know, maybe that we don't take, you know, our spiritual training uh, as seriously as physical training. Yeah? Mm. Um, well, I think we do live in a world where people go, well, it's been on the news. Yes, it's good for uplifting your spirits, especially during the pandemic. But you've got lots of people who go running and jumping and doing all sorts of things. Um, but they do that instead of what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah your, your spiritual formation, like your physical formation, depends on training and discipline, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and attending something like this requires discipline. You have to remember that this happens at nine o'clock. Yeah, and, and it's... Well, I won't be here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to meet somebody at the church about a light fitting. Oh, well, that's very important i'm sure elizabeth um but yeah i mean the thing is that no particular one session of morning prayer it's not a disaster if you miss it but you know it could but it's a cumulative thing yes yeah. uh, so if you if you keep it's a cumulative thing you know just like it is for physical training yeah yes spiritual muscles are developing <laughs> yes, yes. It's true though, isn't it? Yes, it is true. And you you, you can't see it happening. Right. Um, but it how, you know, can they become more compassionate or generous? And you say, well, you have to kind of exercise those muscles. Mm -hmm. you know, try giving, a, you know, don't worry about, oh, I've got to make a massive donation. Just give a little bit away to someone or something um and practice doing that and you'll just find that you become naturally a more generous person so as with muscle muscle memory physical muscle memory you you get to the point where you do it instinctively and the same yeah. with spiritual you, yeah. you develop your spiritual yeah. muscle memory <clears throat> yeah yeah okay well there's nothing wrong with physical exercise it's how where you where your priorities lie yes yeah yeah do not neglect the gift that is within you mm. great okay well let's scroll down fear not for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you you are mine sorry when you pass through the waters i will be with you when you walk through fire you shall not be burned glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit by name you are mine Okay, so let's uh, have a time of prayer. Lord, uh, we thank you for this time together and we thank you for morning prayer where we can come together and do our spiritual training as a little community. And Lord, we want to grow in kindness, in compassion, in generosity, in patience and all these qualities. And so, Lord, help us to build up those spiritual muscles in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We lift you all who suffer at this time. We lift <laughs> you, the government, uh, with difficult decisions to make. Uh, for everyone who is sick with the virus and for um, medical staff, working in hospitals to treat those who are most poorly. We lift you those who have asked for prayer by name, Jamie Lee, Jenny Figaro, Vivian and Christopher Golis, Pete, Anna Lee, bless her, uh, Juan Manuel, Joan Martinez, 
Sue's mum, Phyllis, Betty, Edwina Turner, the Prescotts and the children at Hope Primary School, and the family and friends of Beola Lambert. Lord, uh, thank you that you're with us in times of trouble. Bring hope, healing and comfort to those who suffer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, I lift you today particularly those who are in hospital anxiously awaiting tests or having tests. And in particular, Lord, Betty yes. and Dia yes. attending hospital today. Yes. Give them strength, courage, patience, and let the ones who care from them care for them be comforting and give them strength as well, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Dear Lord, I bring to you all families um, this time of uh, COVID, especially those that don't have anything to eat, the starving children. Father, I lift them to you so that those that have enough can share with those that don't have anything. Speak to us in the way that you've not spoken to us before. Touch our hearts. Open our ears. And open our innermost eyes so that we can see what is happening around us. And be able to reach, to, reach out to those that need us most. Let us be able to take care of our neighbors. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Carl, we just lift Sue White to you, ask your blessing uh, upon her. I know that in these few days that she's having time off, who would you refresh her? Lord, thank you for her, thank you for her amazing service. Uh, and we just ask for your, your, your blessing and your love to be brought out upon her. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Most merciful God, who strengthened your church by the steadfast courage of your martyr, James Hannington, grant that we also, thankfully remembering his victory of faith, may overcome what is evil and glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Using the contemporary version of the Lord's Prayer as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. 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 Th